Mike's opening the gate right now. We're gonna get the tractor and try and get up the driveway again. Bob the Builder. Bob the Builder is amazing, I'm telling you guys. This guy is awesome. think she made it ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> See his hat floating up the hill. <laughs> So that peak across from us here, that's Crystal Peak. That is about, I believe it's two miles as the crow flies from us. So that gives you an idea of our elevation and what the terrain is like here. Right here where I'm standing is about 8,900 feet. Crystal Peak is private property. A lot of people come up to try and hike it only to see all these signs saying no trespassing. So because of all the ice and snow that we've had this year, we've talked with Bob the Builder today and it sounds like there's not going to be a whole lot of anything happening until all this thaws out. March and April are the snowiest months in Colorado typically. It doesn't make sense to get these trenches dug and have an inspection done and then all of a sudden it snows. The problem is is we can't have any frost or snow in the trench. So looks like we're stuck with this probably at least another month or two until we can start digging and put the house together. I just wanna have some secure feeling that this is all gonna work out. 
I, it's making me really anxious and stressed out. So I just want to feel like this is happening. I just want to feel like this is going to come together. And with the tractor being stupid and Mike's truck not starting today and my car doesn't really like coming up this hill either. I just, I feel less secure. I feel less secure about stuff with everything kind of going wrong at the moment. But I also know that things usually have to go really, really wrong before they go really right again. And I'm telling you, the past three years have been really wrong. It's been a rough go, so I, I'm ready for a win. I'm ready, ready for a big win. I made Mikey some cookies. Mike really loves snickerdoodles. And given that it's been kind of a rough couple of days, I figured Mike could use some snickerdoodles. And this is me we're talking about here, so you know I've got to test one. Now, if you guys know me at all, you'll know that I see little hearts everywhere. I keep cookie mix around for times like these when the week hasn't gone so hot and mechanical things are failing. Precisely for this reason, I figure in the very least, it might cheer Mike up a little bit. So if you're wanting charcoal soap, the good news is, is I'm making it today. It'll be available in about a month. I'm also going to make some sage and cedar soap and probably some cherry blossom soap as well. Hi guys, it's Allie. If you enjoyed the video you just watched, do us a favor, click on that thumbs up button. And while you're at it, why don't you go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Thanks for watching. Have a great night.